Okay, number two, second trial. Um, this time I'm going to start off with some Payne's Grey uh, right in the center because we, we kind of went through with really light colors to begin with last time in the middle. A bit of this uh, really super dark Payne's Grey in here. Um, just flicking a bit of paint. My desk is just an absolute mess at the moment because of all this paint flicking I've been doing. Um, I've also got this beautiful lavender color which I want to put in just a, a touch of that. Um, I might have to grab another brush actually because it's too um, mixed in with some other colors. A little bit of that lavender color there. I find ultramarine, lavender, those sort of light blues, they're very um, easily contaminated by other colors. So a little bit of that. What's that doing? What's it doing here? It's mixing. Oh, look at that. It's, it's actually, it's coming into the um, incredible. Look at that. It's just mixing in and uh, leaking into that, that sort of area there. Um, fascinating. Let me get some more of this Payne's Grey, and I might just actually have that come out on that uh, right-hand side more, like that. There. How about some, this is some non-granulating, non-granulating cerulean blue. So it'll be interesting to see how this, what this does. Um, might try like a lot neater, who knows. Um, but you've got this kind of granulating lavender that's, you can see kind of moving in um, to it. Okay, you drop in a bit of paint and it just flows. It just sort of moves and goes through, it's magical. Um, some more here, maybe a bit more here, a bit of that lavender sort of color. Um, there, there, shift this around a bit. Just interested to see how this blue, um, this non-granulating blue ends up drying. As, um, I really like these areas where you have a sort of seepage of color running through in areas. Um, we've got a bit of this pink color here as well. Um, I do feel there's a lot of concentration of color in this section, so I can just move that around a bit. I think maybe on the left hand side, uh, I'll, I'll go in with a bit of a little bit more of this uh, tiny bit of neutral tint here, but I'm also going to go in with. Um, I just want to try some type of complementary here, and I think a kind of a yellowy color would be nice, a warm color um, running through that left-hand side. This is a bit of a quinacridone color that I picked up um, previously, so you know I'm just going to try paint over the top of some of these areas, let it mix around. Um, you know, you can even drop in a bit like that, just flick it in. It's fascinating does its own thing and uh, continue on around that edge there on that left hand side uh, a bit more here this is some Payne's grey some more of that Payne's grey running through a bit of lavender is almost kind of dried up in there um, uh, I think some red maybe running through here would be nice as well um, some more blue or something running up the top and balancing it out because we've got all this blue and darkness there. Maybe a bit of a bit more of that would help up the top. It's very, it's just fascinating, and I really recommend trying this if you've not used this sort of um, paper before. Um, really give it a go because um, I'm having a blast. I'm really having a blast with this, and I didn't expect it uh, at all. And I, I think. It's quite therapeutic in a way. I'm just just watching it do uh, what it wants to do, and just look at that, having little watching it, um, you know, form bits of patterns and things here on the paper. Um, wow, it's just it's just amazing. This could it almost looks like a bit of water or an island or something here, and then a another. It's like an aerial view or. Or something like that of a of a um, of a scene. So, well, 
Let's move some of this downwards here. Could be some archipelagos or something running down the bottom like that. It's not the paint's not running down the, the bottom, it's just sort of stopping at a certain point here. Um kind of hard to paint that edge. I think that bit may not be I don't know whether they size this paper or, or whatever they sort of prepare it with. It's difficult to go over that section. Maybe some darker paint. There we go. It's cooperating now. Um, well, amazing. Um, and I, I did put some little dots and things in there before, and I, I wonder what happened to them. Um, I had them in, I think they just sort of spread around and, and mixed, didn't they? And I, I presume that if you would wait a, a little while, for example, this section that's pretty much dried um, here, um, where that lavender is, it doesn't spread. So it sort of just sits on top of the paper, uh, mixes in with that previous layer, but it doesn't really spread. So, yeah, I'm quite liking that. And I'll leave this one also to, to dry off overnight. If you like this video, check out the playlist on the right. I release new tutorials and art supply reviews each week to help you progress faster in your watercolour journey.